What's up everyone, welcome to the channel. My name's Kendall if you're new here, and currently I've been using DKO grip tape for about six months now. I'm gonna kind of break down what my shoes look like after a six month period. So the first thing I wanna say, the fact that I'm even talking about using a pair of shoes for six months is already a big deal, because normally my skate shoes last one to two months, depending on the type of shoe. So this is an America laceless shoe. These are the last shoes I skated with standard sandpaper grip tape, and I was using Jessup grip tape. This is after only one month of skating. Uh, all of this is completely worn off. I have a feeling if I skated these for another week, there would be a hole here. This patch that's kind of worn away is super thin, and I could definitely probably force a hole through that right now. So again, this is only after one month of skating, and look at how bad that damage is. And then now let's compare that to the shoes I've been skating for the past six months using DKL's rubber grip tape. Now as you can see, it is worn away, right? So the rubber is smooth, it's not textured like it does on the other side. Um, and that's just because the rubber against rubber just causes friction, and obviously it's eventually going to wear away at some point. But if you look at the canvas right here, all of this is still intact. Now this hole back here, came from one skate session in normal grip tape. So I was waiting on my rubber grip to come in the mail. I wanted to go have a skate session and I only had, you know, standard grip tape. So I used my old board with normal grip tape for one skate session because I wasn't patient enough to wait for my rubber grip. And that's what caused this hole. But as you can see, for the last six months of skating, no other damage happened to the canvas. It is still 100% completely intact and I think that is amazing. And the most interesting thing about that is the fact that these aren't even the pro model shoes. Now, if you don't know, there are pro model shoes and there are standard shoes that are just for style. And especially when you buy Vans. So you can get a Vans shoe that is super thin and wobbly like this for style, but they also make a pro model that's like reinforced and has a little bit extra canvas. It's a thicker sole to go skate with. I accidentally bought these thinking they were the pro model and they were not. So the fact that this isn't even a pro model shoe and it lasted me six months just tells me everything I need to know about DKL rubber grip and if it's actually effective or not. So again, here's the comparison. Here they are kind of side by side. I think you can see that. So right here, the sole is almost gone. It's down to the second layer. Up here, it's kind of gone, but it's really just kind of smoothed out. It's nowhere near as aggressive as this. I'm, again, I'm just going to ignore that hole because that came from normal grip tape. Uh, but if you can see, all this stitching is gone, so the shoe has gotten looser because the stitching is gone on the shoe. Whereas up here, all the stitching is still intact. And you wouldn't think about the stitching, but that's actually a really big deal. I was constantly having to use shoe goo to kind of stitch the shoe back together because the stitching would come undone and my shoe would start falling apart. And I just want to reiterate, this is six months of wear and tear with rubber grip versus one month of wear and tear with standard grip tape. And it is a significant difference. I'm not 100% sure if you can see that. They're comparable, but one was six months and one was only one month. Now this does not, now the rubber grip does not make your shoes last forever. The rubber, as I've shown you several times already, has started to wear away. And the way the rubber grip tape works is it uses the rubber from the sole of your shoes and the rubber from the grip tape, and that's what causes the friction. So once that's gone, it's time for a new pair of shoes. So I just got a new pair of shoes. I got these on sale for only like 25 bucks, which is a steal, because these are a pro model shoe. So they're really thick, they're sturdy, the sole is thicker, the heel is thicker, and everything is made for skating. Now, as you can see, I have been skating these just a little bit. I've skated them for about a week now, and there isn't any tearing on the shoe at all. And normally within the first week of skating, the stitching starts to come undone. And you can see that it is black, but that's just because the rubber grip kind of stains your shoe a little bit. The, the black rubber rubs off on the shoe. But all the texture is still there. Everything's good to go. I really do think, since this is a pro model shoe, that they're going to last me a year. I really do think that. I think that I'll be skating these in January of next year before I buy a new pair of shoes. Now that might not be the case. I might just want to go out and get a new pair of shoes just cause. But I think if I just take care of them and I keep skating rubber grip for the next year, that these shoes will last me. 
So here's the board I have set up currently right now. Everything's good to go. So for rubber grip, if you don't know, it starts to peel up a little bit, but right now everything's good to go. I've been skating this board for a week. There's been no peelage. It flicks just like a normal skateboard, especially now that I have my brand new shoes. The new shoes and rubber grip work perfectly together. So although it is considered non-abrasive grip tape, that doesn't mean your shoe doesn't wear away over time. Any kind of friction between two objects is gonna wear them both down. So eventually, you will need to get a new pair of shoes. It's not gonna make them last forever, but it does make them last significantly longer. And if that's something you're into, but if you're a student, you don't have a lot of cash to just throw skate shoes all the time, rubber grip is definitely a good investment. You're gonna save so much money on shoes and it really doesn't affect your skateboarding that much at all. Now before I end the video, I just want to mention that I have made two other videos about rubber grip tape on this channel. Uh, I'll have those linked up on the card up top. I will also put those at the end of this video if you wanna check them out. One of the videos is my first impressions. It's me gripping it for the first time. It's me setting up the board for the first time. And the second video is just my full pros and cons list of the rubber grip. So I just break down all the good of the grip tape, all the bad of the grip tape, and if you should even consider buying it. So if you are interested at all in rubber grip, I would definitely recommend you go check out my other videos on it because I think it's gonna save you some time and maybe save you some money, especially if you pick some up because your shoes are gonna last so much longer. So thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you like this video, if you got anything from this video, please hit that like button, it helps me out a ton. And if you wanna see more from me, hit the subscribe button down below because I upload every Tuesday and Friday at 8 p.m. I will link my two previous videos on DKL at the end of this video. So go check those out if you're curious and I'll catch you guys in the next episode.